Okay, so the next example is really two examples in one. Let tau sub e be the union of the entire set of reals with all subsets of the real numbers that do not contain the number zero. Then this is the excluded point topology on the reals with zero, the excluded point. And once again, we're going to consider the interval from A to B as a subset of the reals. There are two cases. Case one, zero is in the interval from A to B. Then the interval from A to B is not open since zero is in this interval and this interval is a proper subset of the reals. Now the interval from A to B is closed since zero is not in the complement of this interval and the complement of this interval is a proper subset of the reals. And so the interval from A to B where zero occurs somewhere between the real numbers A and B is closed but not open in the space of the reals with the excluded point topology. So now we can calculate the interior. The interior of the interval from A to B is the largest subset of this interval that is open. And so the largest subset of this interval that is open is the subset without the number zero. And this is a union of the points between A and zero with the points between 0 and B. The closure of the interval from A to B is the interval from A to B. As it is a closed set, it is its own closure. So now we can calculate the boundary. The boundary of the interval from A to B is the closure of the interval from A to B, set minus the interior of the interval from A to B. So this is the entire interval set minus the union of the points uh, between A and zero with the points between zero and B. And so notice that we are removing all points from the interval except for the number zero. And so the boundary is the singleton set containing zero. Now here's an example where the interpretation we gave earlier seems to fail and not only fail but fail spectacularly. After all you might say the boundary contains a single point, the point zero. How can this contain that subset of the open interval from A to B that is in the topology? Well uh, it really depends on the point of view or perspective that you take. Now the boundary is a closed set and so it is indeed a subset of the entire set of reals. The same is true of any closed set. It is a subset of the entire uh, set but the space itself is made up of the open sets. That is the points, uh, rather the sets in the topology. And so a space with the excluded point topology behaves as though there is a void at the point of exclusion. So if we now take this into two dimensions and we have a subset of a two-dimensional space that contains the point of exclusion, then the interior of that subset is the largest open set that is contained in the given subset. And so the interior is something like a uh, the interior of a box where we have the uh, a void at the point of exclusion. So if we now imagine this in three dimensions then uh, we would have the uh, interior of a box, a solid box, with a void at the point of exclusion. And so if you were standing in that void, that void would indeed appear to contain the rest of space. 
Uh, consider the Earth. Uh, the boundary of the Earth is not a land mass or body of water. It is the atmosphere. If we look out into space, there does not appear to be anything there that separates us from space, but if not for the atmosphere and a little thing we call gravity, uh, all the matter would escape into the void of space. And if we, the inhabitants of the Earth, stop and consider for a moment, we are actually on a giant spacecraft that is hurling through the void of space with the moon, our constant companion. But what would our container appear to be to someone who is not on the uh, spaceship Earth? Well, for someone not on the Earth, our container appears to be, on the one hand, on the inside, a solid mass, and then on the outside, the atmosphere. And so our container is essentially a ring or annulus. So uh, the point of this hopefully amusing anecdote is do not get bogged down into the computation. Stop and consider what the computation means and uh, try to consider it from uh, several points of view or vantage points. So we can now calculate the exterior. The exterior of the interval from A to B is the complement of the closure of the interval from A to B. So this is the complement of the entire interval from A to B. And so this is the set of all those points less than or equal to A in a union with all those points greater than or equal to B. And the complement of the boundary, and here I'm calling it the complement of the boundary versus uh, the union of the interior and exterior to emphasize that the complement of a closed set is always open. And so this is the uh, complement of the singleton set containing zero. And so this is the, uh, all real numbers except for zero. Now in algebra, this is a very important set. We call this the deleted set of reals since each of its elements has a multiplicative inverse. All right, so now let's uh, graph these sets. The subset itself is the interval from A to B that includes the number zero. Now this is not a closed set. This is a closed, uh, rather this is a closed set. It is not an open set. And so the interior of this interval is the one that does not contain zero. And so if you were a one-dimensional being that inhabited this uh, subset, let's call it planet Alpha Beta, then you would not see a single planet, rather you would see two planets that orbit very close together where the inhabitants of Alpha Zero are separated by a void from the inhabitants of Zero Beta. The closure of the subset is the uh, subset itself as it is a closed set. The boundary of the set is once again the singleton containing zero. The exterior is the complement of the closure and again that is all points less than or equal to A and all points greater than or equal to B. And the complement of the boundary is the union of the interior and exterior, and that is all points not equal to zero. Now the open sets, that is the sets that are in the topology that make up the space, are the interior, the exterior, and the complement of the boundary. So now we consider the second case. Case two, zero is not in the interval from A to B. And we will consider
the subcase that a is greater than zero. Then the interval from a to b is open since zero is not in this interval and this interval is a proper subset of the reals. The interval from a to b is not closed since zero is in the complement of this interval and again this, uh, the complement of this interval is a proper subset of the entire set of reals and so the interval from a to b where a is strictly greater than zero is open but not closed in the space of the reals with the excluded point topology. So the interior of the interval is the interval itself as it is a close, uh, rather is, as it is an open set, it is its own interior. The closure of the interval from A to B is the smallest superset that is closed and so that is the union of this interval with the singleton set containing zero. The boundary of the interval from A to B is the closure of the interval from A to B, set minus the interior. And so this is the union of the interval from A to B with the singleton containing zero, set minus the interval itself. And so the boundary is once again the singleton set containing zero. The exterior of the set is the complement of the closure of the set. And so this is the complement of the union of the interval from A to B with the singleton set containing zero. Again, A is strictly greater than zero. And so we have a union of all those numbers less than zero with the numbers greater than zero and less than or equal to A and all numbers greater than or equal to B and the complement of the boundary is the complement of the singleton set containing zero which again is the, the deleted set of reals all real numbers not equal to zero so now we can graph these sets Again, the subset is the interval from A to B where A is strictly greater than zero. This is an open set, so it is its own interior. And zero is not included. The closure is the union of the interval from A to B with the singleton set containing zero. The boundary, once again, is the singleton set containing zero. The exterior, again, is the complement of the closure. So that's all numbers less than zero with all numbers greater than zero and less than or equal to A and all numbers greater than or equal to B. And the complement of the boundary is all those numbers not equal to zero. And again, notice that the complement of the boundary is the union of the exterior with the interior, and that the open sets uh, formed uh, from this subset are the interior, the exterior, and the complement of the boundary.
So now we can make a general statement about uh, the uh, excluded point topology on the reals. Let T sub E be the excluded point topology on the reals with some element P being the excluded point. Let U be open but not closed. Let C be closed but not open. Now there are no uh, subsets of the real numbers that are neither open nor closed in the excluded point topology. And the only uh, subsets that are both open and closed are the empty set and the entire set. And so this is, uh, we will uh, consider all cases with these. So let's form the table of the subset, the interior, the closure, the boundary, and the exterior. So first subset we'll look at is the empty set. The empty set is both open and closed, so it is its own interior and closure. The boundary is the closure set minus the interior, so this is empty. And the exterior is the complement of the closure, which is the entire set of reals. For the open set U, it is open, and so it is its own interior. The closure is the uh, smallest superset, which contains the point uh, of exclusion, so we have the union of the open set U with the singleton set containing the point P. The boundary is then the singleton set containing the point P. And the exterior is the complement of the closure, and so this is the reals set minus the union of the set U with the singleton set containing the excluded point P. The closed set C is its own closure. Its interior is the largest subset which does not contain the point P and so this is C set minus the singleton set containing P. The boundary is once again the singleton containing the uh, point P and the exterior is the complement of the closure and so this is the complement of the set itself. And finally for the uh, entire set of reals it is both open and closed, so it is its own interior and its own closure. The boundary is empty, and it is and its its exterior is empty. Now uh, we could just as easily replace the reals uh, with any arbitrary set X, and we will have the same results. All right, so we will end here for today. Uh, in this lecture, we have focused on uh, some some subsets themselves. In the next lecture, we're going to look at what it means for a point to be in these subsets and look at uh, the concept of a cluster point versus an isolated point. So I hope you have enjoyed the third lecture. Thanks for watching.